find the crow. Yes. and welcome back to field sports with speed so today you might have guessed it we're out shooting again and i think this might be a nice little day if you can see in the background but there's a lot of crows and pigeons pitching onto uh, a patch of laid wheat it's looking good i'm a bit early for it but i wanted to come and sort of check it out um but you know i think i'm gonna with how many birds are about and they're coming from a flight line over here, a flight line over here, and you'll probably see just behind me there. They're coming from the farmyard. I'm going to work round onto that line. And there's like multiple directions that they're coming in, so might be a good one. But I'm just hoping this rain's going to hold off. But let's get the kit, get on out there, see if we can do some damage. I am all kitted up. I have basically condensed my kit down, so I'm literally just taking bag of decoys, gun, got the flapper and bits and bobs and some lunch and cartridges and the seat just because these birds are like going all over. There's some standing wheat so I can just literally sit there nice and, excuse me, quietly and uh, if that works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll rethink it. But let's get this kit on my back and get over there. As you can see, it's pretty damn flat. There's a lot of these flat spots on this field up here. There's a real massive flat bit. So I had more time. Yeah, it'd be better to scope it out a bit and know where I need to go. But I'm a bit limited on time at the moment. So we'll get somewhere. I'm sure we'll get a few. Right, change of plan. I'm going back for the hide kit because it's so like low and i just i know what will happen is i'll go oh it'll be all right and then they'll start flaring and i'll be like why didn't i just build a hide so there's a telegraph pole in the middle of the field i'm gonna go with that i think that's my best option you can see here like how flat it is and you'll be able to see like the the bird poo on there as well it's proper flat so what happens is the wind, the rain pushes it over, straw gets weak, and it's like that. And if the birds keep on landing on it, then like that, they're just going to push it further and further flat. So I've made my uh, little hide. It really doesn't look like the best, but it's quite a light net in that one just to blend in. I'm so excited because literally I was there setting up these bouncers and the pigeons just keep flicking past. Why aren't they coming? It's got to be this hide. They're not used to it, surely. He's coming round again, though. Proper unsure, though. Nah. Not liking this hide at all. I'm going to have to sit in the wheat. Get him. Well, today has certainly been one of those days where it just doesn't really go right. Um, but I'm sort of set up, sorted now. It's just after lunch and I've moved into a different spot. It's a good flight line. One coming now. It's a good flight line. I'm on sort of like the top of a brow, which can work in your favour. If they come from the right, 
it will definitely work in our favour because it's coming into it uphill and birds like that. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't get comfy. My, my back hasn't been great recently. And when I was sort of laid down in the wheat trying to just want working basically, and they didn't like the hide around the telegraph pole. It's where I should have really set up earlier on in the week or something and got them used to it. But I moved over here, it's on the flight line. I've had six really quick. So hopefully this afternoon will be a lot better than this morning. Didn't do very well on the first bow, did I? Oh, look at these in front. So cool. Well, balls that up, I had too many choices, didn't I? Bugger. Bugger, bugger. That looks so cool as well. And literally just appearing over the brow. It's like proper poor man's grouse shooting. It's real cool. But they know the, they know the flight line, so that's, that's why it's such a good spot to be in. Hopefully they'll keep on coming. Well, I'm slacking on the hide snacks today, but what I have got for lunch is this award-winning gallopie with egg. So I'm quite looking forward to giving that a go now. Once the action's slowed up. It's just drizzling. It's a bit horrible. It's not ideal for it, but... It's the only time I can get out this week, so I thought I'm going to make the most of it. Why did they always come when you're trying to eat? Where's my gala? Oh, it's right. Almost dropped me pie. Don't want to drop your pie, love. Oh, tail feather. Not enough. Not enough. Well, the hide's looking pretty slick, and I'm bloody glad that it's under cover because it is a rotten day today. I um, didn't realise it was going to be as bad as it is, but just give it a couple of hours and oh, we've um, sorted a few out. Excuse me, sir, have you been drinking? So with the decoys, I've just put them on this little edge here. I mean, most of the ones I'm shooting, they're literally just like coming over my head and I'm picking them up by the margins, but there we go, look, there's some more coming now, going straight across. But I'm um, not really shooting them over the decoys, it's just the decoys are just really here to, you know, give them a bit more of a dedicated line. But there's a few about, and um, it's working quite well. The heavens have opened, 
which isn't ideal. It's not good for pigeon shooting. But on the bonus side of it, I'm set up in this nice little cubby hole, so I'm not getting wet. And there are still a few pigeons coming, to be fair. I mean, you'll see, like, you know, I can't see much further than sort of 60, 70 yards in front. But the birds, they know this flight line, so all of a sudden they sort of just appear and, like, you have a quick, nice little, you know, driven shot. And a few of them are sort of looking to pitch in on the laid bits. But, you know, it's okay. We're getting a few shots, keeping them off the field for the day. So we can't argue, really. Wow! <laughs> what went on there? Jeez. Well, it certainly wasn't a red letter day, but it was a nice day in the hide despite a bit of rain. Um, you know, Keeper come down, had a little chat with him, which was really nice to catch up. And we've kept him off here, kept the farmer happy. So that was good. Had a real nice little day. So um, thanks for watching again, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.